All right, so we're back. Uh, mainly, we usually have the car in the background, but today we are looking at our parts that are about to go in. Parts that we've had for a while and that are finally going to be installed in the car. So here to talk about it is Jake. Hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, we're at the uh, the end of our parts list here. So the uh, transmission has been rebuilt for a while now. It's finally going to go in today, first thing today. New transmission, new transmission mount. Once we get the transmission in to hold the engine up, we're gonna put in the engine mounts. We'll jack up the engine a little bit and it'll be stabilized by the rear transmission mount. Get the engine mounts in. While one of the engine mounts is out, we'll change out this fuel pump that's right uh, near the engine mount. Then from there, today I'll be doing the, the front uh, suspension ball joints and stuff. So we have our upper ball joint, which is a bolt-in style. We'll go over that, our lower ball joint. We have some A-arm bushings. We have some bump stops here. Uh, I also have the entire front steering linkage already rebuilt and in the trunk. It just has to be bolted in. So the whole entire front suspension will be completely changed out and done today is the plan. Uh, and then also we're gonna do some cooling system and uh, we will show you that here in a minute. Uh, before we go, Jake, can you talk about this uh, transmission mount real quick and why it's a little more important to us than normal? Yeah. So, interesting thing, we'll talk about what this is made out of first and why we chose it. So, it's like a polyurethane, like rubber, plasticky type thing. So, it's harder than a rubber, but softer than like a solid, you know, completely steel mounted mount. Um, and there's a couple reasons why we did that. First of all, the stock one broke. It was rubber. It ripped apart. Second of all, the way that this uh, transmission is mounted in the rear, if that mount breaks and that transmission starts moving around in the rear, there's no, um, there's no solid mechanical linkage. Mechanical linkage for like the the tail shaft that goes into the drive shaft. So if that starts moving around, there's a bushing in there that you'll tear up that bushing inside the tail shaft of the transmission and you'll start linking out fluid and you'll actually destroy the transmission. And that is literally what happened, why this transmission was destroyed. That mount failed. It started bouncing around in there and messing up that tail shaft seal. It got all kinds of metal run through the whole transmission and it ruined the transmission because of a freaking transmission mount. So uh, we're gonna solve that problem. There also is a exhaust mount point that was broken because everything was moving around back there so Grab we'll have to repair that uh, at some point before we finish finish and uh, so that is going to prevent in the future the transmission literally wiping itself out again kind of not super well known but super important so that's why we went with that style of mount cool all right let's get started we're gonna move to the car next okay so along with the rest of the suspension parts we have in there this is what we have left. This is all the steering linkages that's all been completely replaced. Everything on here is brand new, everything. So this is gonna go into our front spindles. Uh, the bearings are good. We already repacked them. We're gonna put new seals and everything on them. All these little ball joints are gonna go into the holes there. We'll put the spindles back on, torque everything down, put the steering linkage back on, torque everything down put this gigantic front sway bar back on. This is like equivalent to like an F-350 sway bar. This thing should handle fairly well. Uh, once we get all this back on, the front steering and suspension components will have been completely replaced. So this thing should ride and handle extremely well. Um, and we will be not far off from getting this thing actually ready to run. So stay tuned Ooh. for that. Yeehaw. So what Jake's doing here is he's, um, I'll just let him tell you. Uh, these ball joints are pressed in. I think we talked about this before. So this, it'll catch on this lip. You'll press it in, it'll catch on this lip. What you want to do is get the old one out. I mean, we could press it out, you know, but there's no need. This is destroyed. I'm going to just hammer the heck out of it until it comes out and it'll be way faster. So that's what we're going to do. Cool. Get out there. Here's ring. 
decided to give the BFH another try here. And then we're gonna hit it with the, with the other air hammer. All right, so under the car, back working on the Monte Carlo, I am going to finish the transmission install. I mean, I know we got it in and everything, but I'm going to finish it. Uh, I got the torque converter bolt in. Uh, thanks to my Michigan dad, I made sure that it was double sealed, the torque converter to the transmission. I just confirmed it. I'm going to be putting a little thread lock on these bolts because we're reusing them. You, normally, you want to get new ones, but, but... I couldn't find them. I just I just could not find them. So I decided to use the old ones and I'm putting some thread lock on there. All right, so what these torque converter bolts are, I keep calling them nuts, but they're bolts, is it's the mechanical linkage between the torque converter itself and the engine. So when this spins, it spins as a unit together. Because if these aren't together, this is just gonna free spin and this isn't gonna do nothing. None of your actual engine power is gonna get through your transmission to your wheel back there. So, all right, let me get these in. I gotta turn this over, get these going. I'll put the cover back on and we'll start moving forward with the uh, transmission lines here uh, on this side and then the uh, connectors and then the, your your linkage. So, you know, when you're sitting in your car and you pull your, your lever, this is what switches everything from, you know, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and so on. Cinematic me. Okay, go ahead. You good? Oh, are we live? We're live. Cool. All right, so my wife is recording i finally got her to come down while i work on the car sorry i know i look crazy but safety first okay so what i'm doing is i did not take my own advice and it screwed me over so uh i'm not a hypocrite but sorry i messed up okay so here's a torque converter right here this blue thing here's your flex plate what i did was I went ahead, I was putting this in, and I thought I could cheat because I don't have any power tools to make this go quicker. When I turned the flex plate around, and when I put these bolts in, I just tightened them down. <laughs> so out of the three, I got two in, but that messed up the third one and, and let it, it didn't line up just perfectly, just enough for me to not get that bolt in. So now I have to do double the work, turn it all the way back around a couple times, loosen these bolts, just so I can get the last bolt in, then tighten them down and turn it around again so there you go if i hope i'm the example that for you guys out there so you do it the right way the first time a few things left to do here so i am going to put this new uh, mechanical style fuel pump on here so a couple of fuel lines down here from the tank and then one hard line up to the throttle body uh, these are very wear and tear uh kind of normal item to change is this a a diaphragm style pump in here so since we have all the serpentine stuff off the front of the engine it's right here real easy to access just uh two bolts one on each side so we'll swap that out so we don't have to worry about that in the future that's cool. where we're at it's a good uh piece to change like jake was saying uh, while you're there change it because you could be driving down the road and then oh no you're no, stuck no okay gas. so i wanted to show you the new nice and clean fuel pump that's right there all connected up right if you can't tell it's super shiny we got that in uh with one little hiccup I had to call my michigan dad to uh help us out and i'll explain why in a second but first off brought to you by hater vision snap on lighting right what do you got going on here i'm uh, just getting the water pump bolted in here mm -hmm. line up the bolts and the gaskets nice get a good seal going on good 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 so there should be uh two to three lines coming out of this would that be correct uh we're gonna have the top line here and then the main line to the radiator down there okay and then uh yeah so as you can see it doesn't look brand new but that's because this didn't give us any concern to need to be replaced the bearings inside seemed fine when we turned it over 
and uh, you know, just, just we're all working on a budget. So this is one of those items that we're like, okay, we have to make sure that we realize it's a part to save and we could spend it somewhere much more needed. Okay, so obviously this is the end of the video. I wanted to take this time to explain a few things to you guys out there so that you're not left totally hanging. Uh, obviously we did not get the car started today. It sucks, but I mean, it, it happens. We, we did set a, a high goal for us. Uh, we didn't meet it, but you know what? We, we got really close, which meant that we got a lot done today. We did get the transmission in. We got the old ball joints out and the new ones in. I did get the uh, torque converter, uh, you know, all seated up to the flex plate, which is good, all good things. What I wanted to say though, was we were running out of daylight. And because of that, we had to make the decision to work on the car and prioritize that over recording. Um, I know it sucks because now we don't get to share all those experiences with you guys, but we did get everything done. Um, and uh, I will do better next time. And when we do get to that point where we do start the car, it will be very, very exciting. So uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two and enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for Project Super Sport. I wanna say that we're much closer than we were before. Oh yeah, one last thing, if you haven't already, like subscribe hit that little bell notification for our videos okay i love my uh day job but man let me tell you something if i could get youtube famous you better believe best believe that's what i'm gonna do uh we do have a couple other projects lined up in the future and uh just stay tuned you know we just uh be patient this is this is where this is what we said it's this is the real world uh project like uh you know, you go to your day job and you come home and you, you grind on your car, you know, so it's kind of one of those things.